If you're thinking about going to Warsaw for a long weekend, I'm here to help with my top recommendations. Warsaw is a great value for money location, so here's how to make the most out of your trip. Warsaw is the capital city of Poland with over 1.8 million residents. Despite its recent negative press, Poland is a major cultural, political, and economic hub. During our stay, we took up residence at the five-star Bellato Hotel. We paid less than 100 euros a night for our suite, and we were very impressed with the value for money. If you're staying at a three- or four-star hotel in central Warsaw, you can expect to pay anywhere from 40 to 70 euros per night, making Poland a premier budget location. Known for its beautiful architecture, Warsaw was actually bombed and flattened during World War II, so most of the architecture is relatively brand new. Nevertheless, Warsaw's historical Old Town has been designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and Warsaw is nicknamed the Paris of the North. When creating a budget for your trip to Warsaw, you can easily enjoy food, activities, and premium accommodation for less than $100 a day per person. But let me show you my favorite budget buster. Every time I've come to Warsaw, I've always made time to stop at Stary Dom Restaurant. It's a traditional Polish restaurant that serves generous portions with incredible flavor. Be sure to get the steak tartare, you won't be sorry. Whenever I go to a new city, I always do a free walking tour. These tours are led by locals and there is no set price for a ticket. However, you do tip your guide at the end of the tour based off of your financial ability, enjoyment, and discretion. I've been to Momu restaurant a few times now, and I always enjoy their changing menu and wonderful cocktails. Momu is a mid-range restaurant, so you can get great food at a reasonable price, and it's right next to the old city, so you can enjoy the local nightlife right after dinner. One great thing about Warsaw is the fact that it's so walkable. You can have a stroll through the old or the new part of the city and find something unique to do by chance. But heed this warning. The restaurants and bars by the most touristy locations will never be the best quality. There's an inverse relationship between the view and how good the food is in any tourist hub. When we were in town, a huge military event was also taking place at the same time. There were military paraphernalia everywhere, and for some reason, even the American army was passing out autographs. Warsaw regularly hosts outdoor events, and I would encourage you to align your visit with a local festival because they are quite the sight. For anyone nervous about their first trip to Poland, I can say with certainty that I've always felt very safe in Poland. Even as a solo female traveler, I've never had any issue in the major cities, and I've always felt very safe at night. Here are a few of my favorite places in Warsaw. This is a fantastic place for brunch, even though I can't pronounce the name. This is my favorite spot in Warsaw, but there are no bathing suits allowed, so good luck. This food hall has loads of international food options to choose from if you ever want a break from pierogies. The Alchemist is centrally located and has a wonderful date night vibe with interesting cocktails. And then, of course, you should end your evening with some vegan ice cream. Those are my top recommendations for a long weekend in Warsaw. 
We had a wonderful time and our trip to Warsaw didn't break the bank, so I would definitely recommend it for students and budget travel enthusiasts. If you have any other recommendations, why not drop them in the comments so we can all swap and share ideas. I'll see you all in the next video. Ciao for now. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.